Find the standard equation of a sphere that has the points four comma five comma two and three comma one comma negative six as the endpoints of a diameter as shown below. Recall a sphere with center a comma b comma c and radius r is given by the equation the square of x minus a plus the square of y minus b plus the square of z minus c equals r squared. Which means to determine the equation, we need to determine the center and then the length of the radius. Well, the center is going to be the midpoint of the diameter, which we can determine using the midpoint formula shown here, which indicates that the center has an x-coordinate of the sum of four and three divided by two, a y-coordinate of the sum of five and one divided by two, and a z-coordinate of the sum of two and negative six divided by two. Simplifying, the x-coordinate is seven divided by two, which is seven halves, or 3.5. The y-coordinate is six divided by two, or three. And the z-coordinate is negative four divided by two, which is negative two. Now we know for the equation of the sphere, a equals 3.5, b equals three, and c equals negative two. And now we need to determine the length of the radius, which is the length from the center to an end point of the diameter. But notice if we use the distance formula using the center, we have to use a decimal for one of the x values. To avoid this, what we'll do is determine the length of the diameter, and then recognize the length of the radius is equal to the length of the diameter divided by two. So we'll let d equal the length of the diameter, and find the length using the given endpoints. The length of the diameter is equal to the square root of the square of x2 minus x1 plus the square of y2 minus y1 plus the square of z2 minus z1. So using the two endpoints, the square of x2 minus x1 gives us the square of three minus four plus the square of y2 minus y1 gives us the square of one minus five, and then plus the square of z2 minus z1 gives us the square of negative six minus two. Simplifying, we have the square root of the square of negative one is one, plus the square of negative four is 16, plus the square of negative eight is 64, Simplifying, we have the square root of 81, which is equal to nine, because nine times nine equals 81. But remember, this is the length of the diameter, and we need the length of the radius. And since the length of the radius is equal to half the length of the diameter, the radius is equal to the diameter divided by two, which is nine divided by two, or 4.5. And now we have all the information we need to determine the equation of the sphere. The square of x minus a gives us the square of x minus 3.5 plus the square of y minus b gives us the square of y minus three plus the square of z minus c, which is the square of z minus negative two, which simplifies to the square of z plus two. And then be careful on the right side, it's not just r, it's r squared, giving us the square of 4.5. And the square of 4.5 is equal to 20.25. Let's write the final form of the equation as the square of x minus 3.5 plus the square of y minus three plus the square of z plus two equals 20.25. Either of these two forms should be acceptable. Before we go, let's take a look at this graphically. So we were given the endpoints of one diameter, which is shown here, this segment. Next, we found the center, which was this black point. And then we found the length of the radius, by determining the length of half of the diameter, which we then used to form the equation of the sphere, which gave us this sphere here, which we can see the given segment is a diameter of the given sphere. I hope you found this helpful.